hi seekers welcome back welcome back to your channel it's always a blessing to have you guys right back here oh my goodness we're doing a taurus read y'all taurus big up yourself big up on yourself your girl is also a taurus okay i'm a taurus so when i do these reads i'm like super super psyched to see what comes through okay but anyway, my darlings, if you are here, Taurus, for your first time, I welcome you guys. Oh, my goodness. And if you are returning, welcome back, my Taurians. Welcome back to the channel. Please go ahead and show your reads some love simply by thumbsing up your reads. When you thumbs it up, YouTube will see that you, in fact, liked it, and they will push it into a wider audience. The channel will grow. The video will also grow, okay? Um, for the ones that are new here, we do pray here on the channel. So I'm going to get into a quick pray. Tap into your energy and pull in your overall read. You know you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Let's pray, y'all. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Taurus, this is a general reading, not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does and leave the rest to the universe, okay? Just send it back to the universe where it came from. I'll leave it for another Taurian, okay? That's on period. Now, cross watchers, please do the absolute same. Your person is your person, past, present, or future person, or whatever chooses to come true to your overall read. Um, take what's yours. Also do the same by leaving the rest to the universe. Also, if you do need to set up an appointment with me for personal reading, you can always do that um, using the information. You could check the description box, y'all, okay, um, to see how to connect with me via email, via text messages, or via Instagram for personal reading. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get you an angel here. This angel is going to help me to get through your reading today, and this angel is for you to also keep. All right, so we have the angel of past lives here. This will be the 24th angel in line. I'm getting, I'm having a little bit of deja vu here um, for you guys, okay? Um, I don't know if I did pick up this angel of past life here um, that I did when I did your last read. However, I'm also channeling... A situation here that feels like someone either needs to be using their wisdom here or someone either needs to be walking with caution here I'm hearing something like a revelation or something something is going to be coming to light I'm hearing that there's a situation that you may be um, trying to figure some things out but it's, I'm hearing it's taking the best of you I'm hearing for somebody it's taking a toll here I'm hearing rest and re rest and rejuvenate, rest and release, okay? This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing releasing. I'm hearing walking away from this situation as far as trying to tap into your energy, trying to get to the root of the problem here. I'm hearing let it go and let the universe work through it so that way you could get the clarity that you need to make a choice, all right? This is what I'm hearing for some of This is what's coming through um, Taurus. So let's see why angels is having me feel this way. All right. What they're trying to tell me here, um, as far as what I'm channeling for you guys here, angels of past life. This could be something that you've been dealing with from the past. Um, or this could be someone from the past that's coming true to the present. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's, what's happening here. Taurus. What's the message please at this time for Taurus, please. What is the message, angels? What is it that you need me to share with Taurus at this time? What's the message for Taurus at this time? Okay. What's the message for Taurus at this time? What is the message? What is the energy? What is the message for Taurus at this time? All right. Let's see what angels are saying here, honey. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, Taurus, let's see what's really happening with your situation here. Because I seems to be getting a lot of um, mixed emotions here. This is what I'm seeing. All right. Okay. 
All right, so what I am seeing right off, right off, it does say immediately, okay? I'm not only getting that you might have dealt with some kind of a of affair here. Um, someone in the energy is coming through and saying, I am a flirt. Um, this is what I am. Um, but you might think otherwise here that this person did have an affair. In all reality, I'm hearing a womanizer energy here. This is what I'm seeing here. This person is very charming, very handsome, or very beautiful. If because the roles could be reversed here, um, I could be saying he or she is him or him or her or whatever. Okay, just place it where it needs to be placed here. But I'm hearing a flirt. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. I'm hearing a flirt. Okay, um, and with this flirt, it's really pulling in an affair. Something might have happened here. This is what your intuition might have told you that this person is either a womanizer or a manimizer. <laughs> either way, okay. Um, and I'm also getting charming. That's what came through for you guys as well. Um, charming in the sense of this person is very attractive, this person knows how to kind of make one feels really relaxed to kind of get their way with somebody here. Um, good at the words, good at the lips, good in the bedroom, good in all the overall energy. This is what I'm hearing. Uh, very charming, okay? Now, what I'm also seeing here, because your intuition is kind of really kind of kind of pulling you into many direction of your life at this point is what I'm hearing for some of you, Taurus. I am also feeling like there might have been some kind of an unexpected situation here. It feels more like an unexpected visitor. Maybe you might have invited someone in the home. Or uh, maybe you felt real comfortable with the situation. Um, I feel like the situation might have ended up being or feeling like it wasn't betrayed. Somebody betrayed somebody here. So the trust was broken here. Um, by an uninvited guest. It doesn't really mean that the person might have lived in the home with you. But this person was closer to you than you might have wanted them to be, all right? Now, now what I do see what's happening with your connection, um, I feel like at this point, there's no one really communicating here. Um, someone is choosing not to speak, not to talk, not to talk about things, don't want to kind of fix what is happening with a connection. Um, and I feel like, you know, someone is at their wits end right at this particular moment. This is what I'm hearing for some of you, Taurus. Now, I'm getting a female energy. This female energy is coming in the form of a wife here. Um, this wife is basically just standing there alone here. Um, because I do feel like... <laughs> Listen, wow. This is like an unrecruited type of a situation here where at this moment you're not even wanting this ring anymore. Um, you don't want to be a part of this anymore. You're maybe thinking at this point that things are just fake and phony, just like the ring is fake and phony, just like everything that you feel was connected to you wearing this beautiful, um, for, 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 for some of you, a gun or, 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 or a groom or whatever, okay? Um, someone just really feels very hurt. Um, very betrayed here and doesn't want to be a part of this anymore. Just want to just return it. Somebody wants to return this. Now, if this is an engagement, someone wants to end this engagement, okay? Um, and if, if this is a marriage, someone wants to really end this marriage. This is what I'm feeling with this connection at this point. Intuition is flying really high here. Um, and I'm hearing global high, <laughs> all right? Um, this is what I'm hearing for some of you, Taurus. Let me go ahead and clarify your messages here. All right, angels, let's go ahead and clarify these messages, please. For Otarians, please, today. What's the message? Clarify. What is the message to clarify, please? Let me have four cards to clarify these messages for Otarians, please. What is it that you need me to share at this time? What is it that you need me to share, please? All right. Okay, that was a waste of any time to come through. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Taurus, we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. Look at all that. The Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and we do have the Lover's card here, okay? The Lover's card already tells, tells me that your intuition was on point. Whatever you were feeling, whatever your emotion was pulling into you with your energy, 
um, whatever you're failing at one point in time that maybe doesn't serve you, I'm hearing that your intuition was pretty much on point. You was pretty much correct, okay, based on how you were feeling. For some of you, it was dreaming a lot of things here, a whole lot of things here, and I'm hearing spot spot on all right um with this three of wands here i do feel like energy is permanently or is has been blocked based on a decision that needed to be made here or a choice um and i do feel like you on the other hand did come in as i need to make a solid choice for myself okay i'm hearing that someone is ready to block whatever is entering that choice or that decision to be made at this point with this three of wands being here in the reverse i feel like you're feeling like you're not receiving the respect here um, you're feeling like you're alone into certain decisions making here. You feel like, you know, someone has really betrayed your trust to the point of no return here. And this is why I'm, I'm, I'm getting someone is really pulling in strength to kind of block anything right at this point that doesn't serve. Someone is making a choice to either move in a way or something, okay? And now I'm hearing that someone really, really wants to move forward based on how they're really feeling at this particular moment. And this is why this Tree of Pentacles is also here. There's nothing coming in. There's no resources at this point because you're tired of trying here. You're tired of walking around with an ailment to protect yourself here, feeling like there's rocks coming down on a situation here. Um, and also feeling like your person, even though you've tried, you've tried several times, but someone chooses to not talk. Someone is just not speaking at this moment simply because they have blocked their energy. And, 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 and look at the, they know, look at it, did they know, my darling Taurus, that you're about to block them just the same. You're about to block them mentally, emotionally, and financially is what I see you doing here. This Knight of Pentacles is just not ready to come in with the truth. They're not ready to um, find the real resources to adjust the situation that is attached to them being a womanizer or a manimizer, okay? Because I feel like they believe that this charming way and this pretentious way is the way that things are supposed to be binded with two people. But I'm hearing a chapter has to be closed here and it has to be closed permanently. And this is why your lover's card is here, okay? Your lover's card is here, Taurus, to assure you that you are connected to something that doesn't serve you for sure, okay? This could be you not getting the respect that you need or this could be them... Um, getting very close and personal to a situation that has to do with toxicity here. And because it is connected to toxicity in no matter way, shape, or form here, it is time that you separate positive energy towards yourself here and just kind of hover yourself for a minute or for a second for some of you, Taurus, and just love yourself all over again from bottom to top, okay? Stop serving this energy that is really pulling too much out of you at this point because right now what you need is spiritual awakening and divine intervention here, okay? Now, this is going to be your reading for today, Taurus. I hope that it did resonate with you guys. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let me know if you do need a prayer request down in the comment section. Pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you'll always find. Bye, guys.